Jim Underwood, this is especially for you. We're rewinding a field coil off a DC motor. If you remember maybe school days when you wound copper wire around a nail, put a nine volt battery to it and it became an electromagnet, that's exactly what the pole piece does on the DC motor. We've got the coils here. This is the old one that's blown. We've had to cut it in half so we can get the wire size and number of turns. So the winding machine itself is this machine here. We use a somatic winding machine. And here's the former. What we've got is the shape of the pole piece or the coil that needs to be fitted into the motor. And as it's an automatic machine, we've got each strand laid out on the software here. So that makes it all neat. It's all uniform, there's no crossovers. We have the coils coming to the tensioner into the machine. And what I've done just for this demonstration is disable the safety. So the lid that should normally be down is up. If everything's gone right here, I should just be able to push the start button and everything works. So what it's doing is winding the coils. This one will be 352 turns of point, sorry, 1.9 mil copper. I'll come back to it. You might be able to see it's layering the second layer now, and that is building up. So the feed is just moving ever so slightly each time to build up the profile. This is what's fantastic about this machine. We don't need to hold it by hand. It's all automatic and makes it very, very nice and neat and easy for the winders to fit. This is the usual speed we'll be doing it at. I showed the start just a slow speed so we can see how it's built up. This is uh, much quicker now and it soon makes the coil probably about four or five minutes and the coil is then produced. This shot here probably gives a better example of how the infeed moves to uh, produce the layer profile. You can see the feed head just moving about two mil each time, left and right, when it's completed a layer, then moving back to the next layer. There's the coil, it's taken about four minutes and 352 turns of 1.9 mil cross sectional copper. And we've got a lovely field coil and we can just see where the step is there. It's finished off 350 second turn, a lovely, nice, neat coil. What will happen now, we'll just tape these areas. So it's just a tape for holding it together physically before we fit it to the pole piece. And there's the field coil. All looks nice and neat. This, I don't believe you'll get this finish or this layering by hand. So an automatic machine does it. The tape there is just to uh, physically keep it together. And we've uh, slid on the sleeving. Now that will be fitted to an insulated pole piece and then go into the motor. Cheers, Jim. Thanks for your query. And hopefully that's explained how we go about winding coils.